do I look ridiculous today? <laughs> I do, don't I? All right, listen, we're talking about Sanrio. Obviously, I had to bring out all of the Sanrio memorabilia that I have. And quite frankly, the only thing I own is like this shirt and this headband that I use when I'm washing my face. And I actually bought these recently, <laughs> so. Sanrio, the Japanese entertainment company, has been growing in popularity at an exponential rate. Everybody and their mamas are eating up every single Hello Kitty collab. I personally, <laughs> I adored the collaboration Sanrio had with Attack on Titan. I mean, just look at Arwen and Hello Kitty. They're so cute. Don't even get me started with Armin and Cinnamon. Roll. Of course, my two favorite characters from their respective franchises are together. I guess I have a type. Sanrio's merchandise and overall appeal is mainly targeted towards femme presenting individuals. It's all very pink and pastel and soft, which society has branded as girl stuff. Men can't like cute stuff, remember? The only things men can like, or boys, can like are monster trucks, fart jokes, bay blades, let it rip, which can also double as a fart joke, and develop an unhealthy obsession with World War II for some reason. If you meet somebody who is like weirdly obsessed with watching like old world world word 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 if you meet anybody that's obsessed with old war stuff, run. What are you studying up for? Are you preparing for the next one? When a space is mainly full of young girls, that means that there must be something wrong with it, right? Because God forbid women have hobbies nowadays. Women aren't allowed to enjoy things. Every podcast bro asks the million dollar question. They're like, do women even have hobbies anymore? Um, we do. You just bully us online ruthless ruthlessly for enjoying those things, but I digress. If you ever take two seconds to just step back and analyze anything in your life, like ever, you know, just, you know, analyze anything that has nothing to do with you for once in your life, you will notice that a lot of the most hated groups of people online just so happen to harbor a large population of teenage girls. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but I wonder what the common denominator is here. Ugh, math. The short answer here is misogyny, but pfft. That's too easy. It's true, but it's too easy. Also, the video would be way too short if I just ended it there, so let me elaborate a little bit. Today, we are going to understand the issue that a lot of people have with Sanrio girls. I asked you guys on Instagram, actually, to tell me how you guys felt about Sanrio girls, you know, just to get like a feel of the room, right? Kind of just like understand where, our, where we are at mentally, see if we're on the same page or not. And um, I received some very insightful responses. So thank y'all for that. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, you guys are you guys are troopers. I can really count on you when I need you most. There seems to be a, a specific stereotype associated with this group in particular, and I wonder if there's any validity to this, really. Allegedly, Sanrio girls are the most unhinged groups of people that you will ever meet in your entire goddamn life. I don't know how this happened or how Samuel girls got this reputation because nobody seems to have an issue with the squish mellow hoarders but everybody has an issue with the Samuel girls sorry if you're a Squishmallow lover, okay, so you're catching a random stray right now. I just bought a Squishmallow for my, my friend actually recently. I don't need to understand the appeal. I don't need to. In fact, I will judge you very harshly behind closed doors and even to your face, but I will still support you. If it makes her happy, that's all I need to know. See, I'm, I'm the nicest person I know and I know everybody. As a casual Sanrio fan, I'm kind of batshit crazy on the DL, but we don't gotta talk about that. So, you know, I can only imagine how awful like the die hard fans are. But then again, is it true? Are all Sanrio fans insane in the membrane as they used to say? You should follow me. I'm A with a circle around it in Swain in the membrane. Before we go any deeper, I do want to thank today's sponsor, me. I am the sponsor. I never thought I'd be saying this seriously ever in my life, but I'm going to be having merch. I'm going to be selling merchandise. Okay. I'm not going to go into it. <coughs> 
oh my god, what am I doing, sucking a ghost stick right now? <coughs> Do you ever just, like, choke on nothing? <coughs> Fuck. I'm not gonna go into full details about the merch, and blah, 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 because you, you guys hate it when I take too long to get to the point, so I'm just gonna keep it short and brief. I have merch, and I do want to say for the record, I'm not making merch because I had one hit video. Like, look at my Christmas Kids video, okay? It's almost sitting pretty at one mil views, all right? I don't need y'all thinking that I made merch because of that. The merch shop has been in the works for quite some time. I actually have a bigger platform on Twitch than I do here. More on that later, okay, at the end of the video. All right, let's get, let's get back to Sanrio girls, okay? So let me give you a brief history of Sanrio and their humble origins. So according to a random CNN business article, listen, don't worry about it. I don't cite my sources. What is this, school? But according to this random CNN business article, Shintaro Suji founded Sanrio as the Yamanashi Silk Center gift shop in 1960 and changed its name to Sanrio in 1973. Sanrio was one of the first Japanese companies to see potential in the character licensing business, and Hello Kitty is by far its most popular and profitable creation. The first Sanrio characters were Hello Kitty, obviously, see those two twins that nobody cares about, and My Melody. You know what, actually, I would like to apologize, you know, let's backtrack. I saw someone use a TikTok filter that tells you like which Sanrio character you are, and someone was actually happy that they got the twin stars. Who is happy to get the twin stars? Like that's rare. That's as rare as this steak or being struck by lightning twice or winning the lottery or your dad ever coming back into your life. Speaking of fatherless behavior, apparently that is one of the criteria of becoming a hardcore Sanrio stan. Congratulations, you guys, you and you alone. <laughs> Not me, y'all be easy are one step closer to being admitted into the psych ward. I'm so happy for you guys. No, but I'm joking, by the way. This is all jokes. Um, if you actually don't have a dad, I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'll be your daddy. Father's Day's coming up, so I expect a gift. Or at least a card in the mail, you know? It's the least you can do. So now you're probably wondering what else you need to accomplish to be eligible for this position of being a Sanrio girl. I'll let this guy tell you what's up more baggage than an airport terminal on a holiday absolutely zero remorse no soul heartless have been hurt by one man and will hurt every man that she meets for the rest of her life as a result i did not deserve that yeah so apparently you'll be traumatized if you fuck up a relationship with a sanrio girl no one knows when this phenomenon started but uh it's pretty much one of the universal truths at this point actually i was on the phone with joe biden the other day and he said that they're actually adding a new section in the bill of rights that protects american citizens from being damaged by a sanrio girl emotionally physically you know all of the illies you know really just covering all of the bases there. I actually wouldn't be surprised if I saw that an 11th commandment was being engraved in the scriptures as we spoke. According to Know Your Meme, you know, that website that helps you learn AAVE and <laughs> yet y'all still use it incorrectly, Latina Gat? Stay out of black people's business, please and thank you. Sorry, um, according to Know Your Meme, Hello Kitty Girl is internet slang for a particular type of e-girl with an affinity for Hello Kitty merchandise and aesthetics. In memes, a Hello Kitty girl is depicted as attractive, but emotionally unstable and potentially violent, similar to a yandere. In January of 2023, the character and archetype became the subject of these memes, primarily on TikTok, in which men suffered injuries as a result of attempting to date a Hello Kitty girl or trying to stop their friends from dating them. There hasn't been a lot of real harm from this meme specifically because I really don't think that the majority of people are genuinely worried about Sanrio girls. I think everyone's energy seems to be more focused on K-pop stands and losing red hair representation in the media and gay people just existing. Yeah, that also seems to be an issue that a lot of people have for some reason. Twitter's a nightmare. I'm tempted every single day to delete it, but I have to make sure that Hank Green is okay. Listen, all right, if we lose Hank Green, I'm 1v1ing God myself. Trust 
he will be dealt with. Amen. Being unhinged may be the lighthearted reason for avoiding Sanrio girls, but there unfortunately is a deeper issue here. <sighs> now I gotta talk about racism. I hate racism. I hate it so much. Smash that like button if you hate racism. <laughs> a lot of Asian communities have felt fetishized because of how Western audiences consume Asian content and culture. This problem is especially prevalent in Japanese and Korean culture. I made a joke a second ago about K-pop stands, but there has been a large issue with fetishization, with fetish, feti, fetish, fetishization. fetishization. I made a joke a second ago about K-pop stands, but there has been a large issue with fetishization within these fan bases as well as J-pop fans. There we go. Non-Asian people will have a random attractive Asian woman as their profile picture for whatever reason and basically cosplay digitally being Asian. This is typically targeted towards Korean and Japanese culture. Again, like I said earlier, the line between cultural appreciation and cultural appropriation is being blurred, truthfully. Actually, I'll take it back. The line doesn't exist anymore. It's extinct. They pulled down their pants to pee on the line, but the force of their stream basically power washed the line away. I'm sorry, we're losing the plot of the movie here. The point is, is that a lot of people roll their eyes at certain groups of people who obsessively consume Asian media, and Sanrio Girls just so happens to be one of many of those groups. I will say that the Sanrio epidemic seems to be a lesser issue because, you know, you don't see a lot of like a massive uproar about them on like K-pop and J-pop stance. Maybe at one point Sanrio Girls may have been an issue, but now people kind of just find them cringe. I could go on a full rant about cringe culture. In fact, <laughs> technically I did, but I privated the video because I defended a fan base that didn't deserve it. Um, don't ask me which one, but I, I think we all know which one I'm talking about. But the Spark Notes version, the Cliff Notes, Smoop, whatever other Listen, y'all, stop going on those sh websites. Just read the damn book, okay? Stop being lazy. Uh, the short and sweet version of that video that I privated was that people shouldn't be so worried about what other people are into, and that's kind of just like the blanket umbrella and all, yeah. Like, that's just the general consensus, I think. Like, you don't see me making a 20-minute video about how lame Star Wars fans are, do you? No, I'm not doing that. I have better things to do. Sorry to all the Star Wars fans who are just randomly catching a stray in this video. I don't hate Star Wars. Not a fan, but I'm not a hater either. I fell asleep during Rogue One and I wasn't bored out of my mind during Solo because Donald Glover was in it. So I was having a blast. Ah, Childish Gambino. Move white girls like this coat that my ass crack. Move black girls like me fuck it. I'll do either. As long as Samuel fans aren't being harmful, towards Japanese culture or people, then I really just don't understand the issue with a girl liking Hello Kitty. However, I am open to other points of view, POVs, if you will. If I'm downplaying anything, then like, yo, let me know, right? A lot of my videos are opinions with like a kernel of truth inside and I'm just, I'm always open to learning and understanding something in a different way. You know, I'm not an unreasonable person. We can have a conversation. I love talking. I can never shut the fuck up sometimes. Another reason why people don't like Sanrio girls is rooted in my biggest pet peeve, gatekeeping. Sanrio fan base, like many other fan bases before and after them, has that elitism aura surrounding their community. Apparently, Sanrio fans are ruthless. If you can't name every single character within the Sanrio universe, like there, there are so many. K 
characters that I never knew about and apparently we're supposed to remember all of them. Like I literally took screen recording of me going on like the fandom f website for Sanrio and just scrolling through all of the characters. I don't even know if that's all of them but that was way too many. I was scrolling for days, 40 days and 40 nights. My fingers were cramping, crying, and throwing up all over the place. Listen, the only Sanrio characters I know off the top of my head are Hello Kitty, Karomi, my Melody, Cinema Roll, Hello Kitty's boyfriend. His name is Dear Daniel. I'm not giving myself credit for knowing that. I learned that semi-recently. Pom Pom Putin or whatever his name is. That emo one that kind of looks like Daffy Duck on the DL. Bootleg Kermit the Frog. Yeah. Thing one and thing two, obviously. Snoopy, if you ordered him from Sheen. And uh, Hello Negro. Yeah, she's not canon, but she's canon to me. The gatekeeping in this community comes in when someone's favorite character is basic because they're popular. Like, oh my god, how dare someone consider my Melody to be their favorite character when her canonical twin sisters, cousins, daughters, wives, neighbors, ferret, twice removed, temporarily deceased, but was raised from the dead on the third day like Jesus Christ himself, is clearly the better character. Like, are you delusional? Are you out of your mind? But you like my Melody. Wow. People have no class these days. <laughs> Anyways, good luck finding merch for your weird obscure character that only you and three other people care about. I bet the creator of Sanrio himself, you know, Shintaro, I bet he doesn't even remember. Is he still alive? Ooh, I don't know. But if he is, I bet he doesn't even know who the hell you're talking about. You know, you're gonna walk up to him on the street being like, oh my god, I love Jigaboo Jones. My, well, that was my favorite character. And he's gonna be like, who? He, he not gonna know who you're talking about like he kind of they, they, they just making stuff up over there y'all by the way if you're not black don't repeat jigaboo jones all right don't don't even a lot of people on the internet have this bad habit of just repeating things that they hear on the internet because they think it's cool let's be smart personally i love cute shit samrio was always one of those things that i've been aware of right uh, when i was younger growing up and i dabbled in it but you know i never really embraced the brand Ooh, i had that hello kitty like alarm teacup thing oh my god i literally brought it out just for this video because i wanted to show it i wanted to flex on those deep pop hose hang on i brought this out from the catacombs look at this it's the cutest it still works i think should i plug it in that's awesome does it play music still That's awesome. It still works and it still gets the radio. That's so cute. And look, look at this. I used to keep this part on as a nightlight. This is the cutest thing ever. Yeah, and I saw some people on Depop selling this for like 40 bucks just because it was Hello Kitty. Like you guys are insane. I don't know how much this cost. I got this like a million years ago. I've had this since like kindergarten or whenever, I don't know. Definitely since elementary school though because I vividly remember using that in elementary school. Where are you gonna find that? Nowhere. I own that clock. Obviously I'm wearing like the only Hello Kitty shirt that I own. I got this from Old Navy recently from the kids section because kids shirts were like on sale for $8 for some reason. And I got mine in an extra large because I do have boobs. See, I got this Hello Kitty like headband thing for when you're washing your face and doing makeup or whatever. Yeah, I got this from what, TJ Maxx. This is my mouse pad. <laughs> It's Karomi. I love her. Um, you know, for the longest time, I considered Karomi to be my favorite Sanrio character because of how cool she is. She's cute, but she's not afraid to fuck some shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like she can handle her business and is very independent. And as I've gotten older, Cinema Roll has actually become my favorite character because Cinnamon Roll is baby. I've always wanted to be this badass bitch and I feel like I've already achieved that status, but maturing is realizing that independence is like low-key overrated. I kind of just want to be baby now and I'll make sure that I marry a rich, rich, rich man so that way I can stay baby for the rest of my life. So let's answer the million dollar question, okay? 
are Sanrio girls crazy? You know what? Let's let a magic eight ball decide this. All right, magic eight ball. Are Sanrio girls batshit crazy? I mean, the ball isn't wrong, right? Not all Sanrio girls are bad. There may be more mentally deranged people than usual within that community, but you can find crazy people anywhere, really, if you're looking hard enough. I doubt that Hello Kitty is whispering sinister thoughts in your girl's ear while she sleeps. Or maybe she is. Who knows? I'm a supporter of women's rights and women's wrongs. I think I said that in my last video. Hmm. It's true though. Slap that on a t-shirt and then get a collab with Sanrio so we can legally sell those t-shirts with Hello Kitty's face on them. Well, that's all I got for you. Do not tell me who your favorite Sanrio character is unless it's those little twin stars. Seriously, does anybody actually like them? Like, I don't, I don't know. So their vibes are so off. It's giving demonic to me. Something about them just rubs me the wrong way. Like the official Sanrio website sells a plethora of Twin Stars merch. Seriously, no, look at this. Look at all of this. It gets insane. Like this is so much. It's displaying 50 out of 69. That's not funny. You can get a phone case with them on it. Are you serious? Call me a hater or you can call me anytime. Doesn't matter. Those little Twin Stars deserve nothing. But anyway, before I end this video, I would like to elaborate on the merch thing that I was talking about earlier. So yes, I have merch coming. Um, it's not a lot. It's really just three things. I tried to price them to be as affordable as humanly possible. Um, I can only do so much. All right, listen, I'm not Sheen. We cannot sacrifice quality because you can't get your money up. Okay, I'm joking. That's a joke. I'm sorry. I'm not doing a good job at this. I have a problem. I can't take things seriously sometimes and I need to take this seriously. But yes, I am selling merch. It's going to be really, really fun. I will say it's pretty, I want to, I don't want to say generic necessarily. Um, it's not going to, it's not like the, that YouTuber merch where it like displays like, you know, my YouTube handle, like world star, world, 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 right? Like it's not anything crazy. I feel like you'll appreciate kind of like the simplicity road that I took with it. Like, I'm really excited about one item. Like, I'm so excited. Like, there's one item that I'm I'm really biased about. In the next video, you will see me wearing my merch. I'm not wearing it now because obviously I have to be on theme. The most expensive item, I priced it at $21 for 21 pilots. I'm not telling you guys what the merch is yet because uh, the website is not even available as of right now. It's going to be available June 23rd. Okay, so there's a little countdown if you go to it right now. If you're watching this video like within like a week of me uploading this, then it still has a little countdown, but it will, but my merch website will be available. You will see everything on June 23rd. That's why I'm being very, very cryptic about everything right now. So yeah, but in my next video, you will see everything. Um, there's no rush to buy merch. So if you're like, oh my God, I want merch so bad, but I don't want, I don't have money. I have no plans of taking it off the website. So it'll be there until I get sick of it. So again, I had this merch shop kind of just in the works for like almost a year now because I have a platform on Twitch. And like I said, my platform on Twitch is bigger than my platform here. So I, I made the merch shop kind of for them, but you know, I guess you can have it too. <laughs> so yeah, that's why this is coming out of the blue. I'm excited, but of course, if you cannot afford it, don't even sweat, don't trip dog. Like seriously, it's no big deal. I'm also, if you're in my Discord, okay, if you're in my Discord, there will be a giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway. Once the website is open and launched and available and da 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 Yeah, if you're in my Discord, look out for that. If you're not in my Discord, then tough titties. Sorry about that. No, seriously, like, you know, it's going to be Discord only. It just makes my life easier. You know, the people who really support me are there. So I'm not just going to open it up to the masses like this. I'm so excited. This is really, really huge. But yeah, I won't be annoying about my merch probably after the website's open. So this is my one and only time I'm going to really talk about it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. I love Sanrio. Sanrio's are like a really, it's, it's cute, okay? It's harmless. You have to consume things in moderation, people. I see these TikTok videos of people with these massive, massive rooms, just floor to ceiling, wall to wall, full of like collectibles. And as cool as that is, it's like, I don't know. 
I feel like it's just a bit much. So consume things in moderation, all right? But at the same time, you can do whatever you want with your money. But yeah, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you like the video, like the video. If you like the person, like the person. Subscribe to the video, subscribe to the person. Just do whatever you want. I really don't care. I hope you go see my merch shop. It'll all be linked in the description. Socials linked in the description. You can go now.